and welcome everyone. I am Bianca and this is probably going to be one of two or three clips about the summer gathering of the Order of Bards, Ovates and Druids. We celebrated our 60th anniversary today and because we as Druids are really good at celebrating, we did not only celebrate one or two days, we had also fringe events going on uh, and a lot of socializing. It is currently June the 3rd, so I'm still in between all of these celebrations but um, because I wanted to upload a video quite shortly after everything happened um, let's head back to May 31st so the day of my personal arrival as some of you might know I'm from Berlin Germany so I had to take the plane uh, to go to Glastonbury I flew with this jet to Bristol on Friday 31st and arrived quite late in the evening. Um, sadly, because on Friday evenings before our official summer gathering, my friend Dan holds an amazing drum circle up the Glastonbury tour to raise the energies because I have not been there. Um, I was not able to record something myself this year. You might find clips of the last year in my travel vlog from 2023, um, but Luckily, someone uploaded um, parts of the closing of the whole drumming ritual and I'm going to show you at least a few seconds of it before we're going to the um, 1st of June, which was the start of the gathering. of June started quite early in the morning with me getting ready to go to the uh, opening events um, in street in Strode Theatre um, where there was a great opening speech and a really lovely oak ceremony which was also quite moving. I just recorded a few seconds of it but um, I'm sure you will enjoy it. Uh... Followed by the oak ceremony where um, talks from Philip Cargum, Professor Ronald Hutton and Ema, which I have not recorded, but I know that there is an official recording of the Orwell, so you might see them later anyways. Um, and then we head back to Glastonbury to have a bit of a lunch before we started our annual climbing up the tour. And once we all arrived at the top of the Glastonbury tour, our ritual was about to start. Protection, strength, I mean strength, understanding, and an understanding, knowledge, and the knowledge, the knowledge of justice, and the knowledge of justice, and the love of it, and in the love of it, the love of all existences, and the love of all existences, the love. After a short break after the ritual, we head back to street to Strode Theatre for our Saturday 
evenings i Stratford, where we do have um, different artists of the Order of Bards of Bates and Druids performing their arts, which means there were poets, there are musicians, and there was also quite a lot of dancing. Um, because I had to get up so early in the morning for the stone and ceremony, I've not stayed up until the end, but I filmed a part of the fun part for you, and um, I think you will enjoy it too. celebrating and dancing I went back to the apartment uh, because our coaches to Stonehenge left at 4 15 a.m. in the morning so very very early um, and we arrived and it was beautiful beautiful weather conditions because normally it is extremely freezing cold in the morning out in Stonehenge regardless of the time of the year but um, it was quite cold for a few minutes and then the sun came out and it was just absolutely beautiful. We are not allowed to take pictures or film during the Stonehenge ceremony. Um, and I think that is a really good thing to um, keep the sacred space real sacred and intimate. This year I um, had a part in the ceremony and I spoke for the element of water and because I was requested at quite a lot of people who have not been able to join the Stonehenge ceremony, I recorded my part of the um, speech of the element of water for you after the ceremony. I will speak for the element of water. I am a part of all of you, for without me no one would be. I am the one that holds the memory. And I remember so much, as I have seen the whole world. 
Millions of years of happenings and emotions are stored within me. I am the first spring rain that creates new life. The dewdrops on fresh grass on misty mornings that you enjoy walking barefoot on. You might miss me on hot summer days, but there you are, jumping into my lakes, ponds and pools for some refreshment. Like a mother, I hold you in my arms and wash away your sorrows. I am the heavy autumn rain, the hailstorm that tells you to seek shelter. In wintertime, you might see me in wonderful shapes, dancing my way from the sky, just like tiny stars. I am freezing cold. I am ice. I am death and silence. But I am also what reminds you of your childhood. Snow angels and castles made of ice. Do you want to build a snowman? I am the salmon of wisdom, the playful otter, the deathly chalk, the selkie that sings the song of your soul. You are never alone. I am soft and gentle. I am rough and cold. I am nurturing. I am love. I am tears of sorrow and tears of joy. I am a part of all of you. And your memories will always be a part of me. I am water and I have spoken. So after the morning ceremony in Stonehenge, many of us head back to Stroh Theatre because there were other talks and the closing ceremony. I myself was very, very tired, so I head back to the apartment to have a bit of a sleep. Um, also to be uh, awake enough for the first open mic night on Sunday evening. And we had no idea what to expect because it was the first open mic night. Um, and we were fully booked out. There were more than a hundred bodies in the audience and I think it was 24 different performers who performed their kind of art. So there was music, dancing, there were some poems, there was some um, stand-up comedy and it was just absolutely lovely. I recorded just small bits of it but I think you will enjoy it. Hi everyone. Well, I was originally not planning to do anything, but as I was talked into it, I thought, uh, um, yeah, thank you, Ima. Uh, I thought I'd just go and sing a song that many of you might know, so it's not one of my own. Um, and I think once I will start singing, you will know the song, and it would be lovely if you could all join in and start singing too. Accentuates your bum. Let me make a Mothman prophecy. I'm certain we'll both come when I spot you <laughs> flying through the air and landing on that ridge where you know that I'll go down for you even faster than that bridge. It's a shame you're only summoned before something goes amiss. Hey, Mothman, are we about to kiss? The Yeti's fine as daddies go. The chubacabra stinks. Without sonar, you never know what the Loch Ness Monster thinks. 
You can't cruise with Bigfoot in the woods until the day goes dark or take the beast of Exmoor for a walk around the park. And it's hard to woo Cthulhu when he dwells in the abyss. Hey, Mothman, are we about to kiss? We have a special connection, a bond like you and Keel, and fuck those lousy skeptics who insist that you're not real. Because even my ex, the Babadook, could lift his hat and see what most ultra-terrestrials are certain to agree an encounter with you would be such weird, orgasmic luck. Hey, Mothman. <laughs> are we about to... Thank you. Odin saw me on the field, he recognized his bastard son. There he claimed me for his own heir to all that he had won. But when that storm god you all praise walks the earth and shatters trees, you huddle close beside my gift and whisper prayers beside the spit. And as the wood smoke turns and twists, you owe your lines to sly low key. I am the slyest of the gods, and fire is the gift I gave. I am swifter than the wind, no one can match the tricks I've played. But when that storm god you all praise, walks the earth and shatters trees, you huddle close beside my gift, and whisper prayers beside the spit. And as the wood smoke turns and twists, you owe your lives to sly low key. So here's to you and our time. 